Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Thank you so much for helping me reach 200 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And to bring some nostalgia back, I'm going to remake the video that made this channel famous, and that is how to block ads in iOS devices using lockdown. So, like I said, this ad blocker blocks ads in Safari, blocks ads in news apps, and games, and more. So let's get into it. So, the reason I'm remaking this only six months later is because this app has been updated with a fairly, um, not huge update, but a big update for the app. Um, the app has grown, some looks have changed, so let's get into it. So I'm going to the App Store and I'm going to be searching for Lockdown. It is called Lockdown Privacy and it basically uses a VPN or a wireless connection to help you block ads in other apps. It works differently than traditional ad blockers which just block ads in Safari and use content filtering. This actually uses a wireless connection and it blocks ads in other apps. It basically has the firewall. So as you can see here is Lockdown Privacy. It has about 1.5 thousand um, ratings and reviews, 4.4 .4 stars. This is the app you want to go to if you want to block ads in various apps besides your browser. This is one of the few remaining on the App Store. It is trustable. It hasn't been condemned for security reasons like Luna did. Like I said, this is open source and they're very privacy minded. They want your protection and trust for you. Um, it's totally free um, to block ads and block other content, but there is um, a subscription if you want security features like actual VPN and um, location hiding and IP hiding things. So as you can see on the actual listing page, there's some pictures describing it. World's simplest privacy policy. Everything locked down does stays on your device. So what you see is literally what you get and nothing more or less because that's the way it should be. And it has been featured by various um, websites, 9to5Mac, Mac Rumors, Business Insider, and more. So this is not just some sketchy app from some other country. Um, talks about on-device privacy. And then it's 100% open source. Works for all apps, not just browser. And I might edit that. It doesn't block ads in every app I've noticed, but it definitely blocks in more apps than just your Safari browser. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. As you can see, the logo has changed and that is great. It's supposed to look more like actual lock and not a shopping bag like they said in the recent update 1.1. So as you can see, your first screen is the firewall square and then there's a secure tunnel. What we'll be focusing on is the firewall. And the firewall is your ad blocker. It blocks content like clickbait, ads and games, um, trackers, and more. So you can view the log of stuff it's blocked. You can tap the block list and change things. You can add your own custom domains to block. But there's clickbait, crypto mining, data trackers, email trackers, Facebook and WhatsApp, Facebook trackers, game marketing, general marketing, Google shopping, marketing trackers too, marketing trackers, ransomware reporting, and Snapchat trackers so but to do the ad blocking you'll want to check the game marketing and general marketing um you might also want to do some others clickbait is quite often ads too so block pretty much all of those and then you push save and then all you do to turn it on is press this button but first you may have to set it up in settings or it may ask you to say add vpn um connection and you just say add anyway what it will look like in settings i'll show you and it will have a thing called a lockdown configuration and the app it's from, lock, which is lockdown. You can press the I and see more about it. But that is the way um, you block ads. You have to have this on. This is how it blocks ads. It's not like traditional ad blockers, like I said, that just use content filtering. That's only available in Safari. This, however, makes it so you can block ads. And um, For instance, I have a soccer app called FUTMOB. Um, you can block ads in games. Uh, and more so now that you saw where and how it works let's go back to the app let's talk about secure tunnel secure tunnel is a subscription service that you can have a security and more privacy minded life private browsing plus high location on ip it says um, you can do a free trial but you can also subscribe to it permanently 
This is not necessary to block ads. Just so there's no confusion, this is not necessary, but it's optional if you want privacy and security, um, like VPN and things. The privacy of the app, however, like I read before, everything that happens on your device stays on your device. So you don't have to worry about privacy in that regard. It's just that Secure Tunnel is basically VPN so that you can, for instance, shop at Amazon and on hotel Wi-Fi or airport Wi-Fi without having to worry, I guess, as much. Some things that have changed in the updates since I posted the last video about this. Um, there is not uh, three bars in the top left corner that access more things. They made it so that everything is on the screen or at the bottom bar. It's more accessible to reach this way instead of having something in the top left, which the phones are so big nowadays you can't tap. So they added it to the bottom bar which is account, and let's tap on that to see what it is. You can sign up for an account, which I guess you can save your information and go from device to device or something like that. You can turn on notifications, a tutorial how it works, why you should trust lockdown, their privacy policy, what is VPN, email support, and their website. So that's some of the things you can do. Let's just take a quick peek at the upgrade options. Um, there's iOS Monthly, iOS Annual, Pro Monthly, and Pro Annual. And to so start one week free trial and fifty dollars a year after, which is about four dollars and seventeen cents a month for the iOS annual. What's the pro annual? Which is a hundred dollars a year. So I'm obviously not subscribed to these things. I don't worry about those. I just want this mainly to block ads and other content. Anyway, let's test this out to see if this really does work. So like I said earlier, I use an app called FootMob or Foots Mob. Um, it has soccer news, games, and transfers, etc. And I'm going to open that up. The ad blocker is off totally. I have none other running. Open Foots Mob. And here's an ad right here for Audible. That's an ad. Like I said, I don't have it on, but I will be turning it on. There will be ads on the matches page too. Some small bars, some big bars, which I don't like ads. And so this is why I use this ad blocker. So you go back to the app. Press this firewall on button, go back to the app, and then close it, open it back up, and there should be no ads. There's none right here where there was before. There's none right here where there was before. There'll still be a blank space for it, which I wish it could condense, but that shows you that it blocked an ad. Same with this page. This is where normally the ad is. So as you can see, this really does block ads. It does work. I use it about every day. Let's see my figures for how many um, things I blocked. All time it says 521,000. That is a lot. A lot of things blocked. Not just ads, various other things, probably like trackers and more, but that is amazing. So to clear things up on VPN and firewall, VPN is basically the way that it does block ads in other apps. You have to have that on and settings for it to be able to do that. It's not just a content content filtering app. However, it is not VPN in the way that it um, protects you from public Wi-Fi and hides your location, things like that. That's what Secure Tunnel is for. If you want to subscribe, you can have that extra security and privacy from the world. This firewall is what blocks certain content, certain trackers and clickbait, etc. So hope that clears it up. Let's test it out in Safari to prove that it works in Safari. I'm going to be doing a check on YouTube because I'm sure some of you are going to want to check it on YouTube. Now, to warn you, this does not work in the YouTube app, so do not try it. It does not work in the YouTube app. I wish it does. Maybe it can in the future, but it's harder to do that. So it does not work in the YouTube app. YouTube.com, however, will work. 5G Explained by Marcus Brownlee. I know this video has ads. I've seen it before. And as you see, there's no ad in the beginning. This can prove and give evidence to the fact that it was blocked. There's this ad right here, but that's not annoying at all. So as you saw, that worked in Safari and it worked in another news app. Like I said, it doesn't work in YouTube, but it works on YouTube.com. It may not work in streaming apps in general, but it may work in some. So I hope this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope this brought back some nostalgia and an update on this app and what it's improved. Please leave a like and comment down below, and please subscribe if you thought this video was helpful. And thank you guys so much for building my channel up to 200, and for the video that came 
before this that inspired this one that got about 11,000 views. Thank you guys so much. That's what really built this channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.